breaking news. We must lay to rest this town of, you know, lazy governance, wherein state goes to Abuja every month to collect monthly allocation without contributing anything to the system. With a renegotiated Nigeria, every state will have to fend for itself with proceeds of what they generate and will not have to look up to Abuja for funds to run their states. I welcome you guys to today's news. Join me as we go. Now, the constitution of a country is a contract that legally binds its people and their government. Like every other contract, a constitution is valid only if it is consensual among the people of a country and essentially devoid from misrepresentation, mistake, duress, undue influence, and illegality. Looking at the Nigerian 1999 Constitution, can we soberly and honestly say that it has the consensus of the Nigerian people? Can we honestly say that it is not vitiated by misrepresentation, mistake, duress, undue influence, and illegality? The answer to these questions are honestly speaking in the negative. It is regrettably and unfortunate that many Nigerians do not know that the Nigerian 1999 Constitution is a military decree fraudulently and deceitfully foisted on us by a bunch of irresponsible, selfish and self-centered military men and their cohort in 1999 with clauses protecting them and their loot of a common world before handling over power to Nigerian civilians. Of course, it is sad that 22 years after success, you know, successive unscrupulous Nigerian civilian government have shamelessly, you know, shamelessly, pardon, for their selfish gain, refused to question the validity of the evil document called the 1999 Constitution. They have continued to benefit from it while running Nigeria on falsehood with a defective and faulty foundation ensuring that Nigeria solely binds itself to be false to the future. Nigeria has presently constituted its built on a pack of lies that is bound to collapse anytime soon if we fail to make amends. What Nigeria desperately needs now is a referendum and not an election. It is imperative that we, the people of Nigeria, renegotiate the unity of Nigeria and not have it imposed on us as is it, you know, as it is now. The issues of the over centralization of powers and resources control must be addressed before we think of any future election in Nigeria. Conducting election, you know, in 2023 without putting aside the military decree called the 1999 Constitution amounts to Nigerians living in a fool's paradise which ultimately will lead to the eventual collapse of Nigeria. I am therefore advising our politicians to stop treating Nigeria like their private estate. They should stop conjecturing 
who will be the next president and what parts of the country he will come from. We must shelve aside the 2023 election and conduct a referendum on the structure and framework of our new Nigeria with a people's constitution in place. It will not matter who the next president of Nigeria will be or where he will come from. If you ask me, I will suggest that we return to the four region that is the east west north and midwest as we had it in the first republic pulling down all the state boundaries created by the military to cause division among us better still the current 36 states plus abuja can with consensus of the people be merged into fewer viable formidable and competitive states. I am doubtful if any competent you know component part pardon of Nigeria genuinely wants to secede from Nigeria because we all need each other to prosper as a great country once the necessary assurances are given. I believe that my Igbo brothers can be great in technology and even greater than Japan and China put together in the same Nigeria if given autonomy. During the Nigerian Biafra war, they refined their oil, produced armored tank, bombs and fabricated spare parts of their vehicles and machines managed their telecommunications and operated the most busiest airport in Africa even without electricity. Apart from technology, the East is a tourist destination and home of hospitality. It is blessed with oil deposits and coal which can be tapped for its benefits. In the First Republic, the defunct Eastern region you know, competed with its Western counterpart part establishing the University of Nigeria, providing quality education, building good roads and infrastructures, and running its government with internally generated funds without help from the federal government. I believe that the West can be very highly commercialized agricultural come to you know tourist destination in the world giving its advantage of the legal seaport coastal land and boundary with other west african countries what is your thoughts to this what is your own reaction to the spain development we would like you to share it all with us via the comment section we would like you to let us know your own reaction to this according to what we found earlier that what we need presently now in Nigeria is a referendum and not an election. We would like you to let us know your thoughts to this. We would like you to share your own point of view with us via the comment section. But before we go, let's see people's reaction to this. Do you also think that it is a referendum we need in this country and not election? Let's see what people have to say about this. Stephen Okadike reacted and said, if they denied to Ibo the opportunity to rule Nigeria in 2023, then the friendom and peaceful dissolution will take place. According to what Stephen have just said now, Stephen said, it is until the Ibos are denied the opportunity to rule Nigeria, that is when referendum and peaceful dissolution will take place and according to what we've had earlier even without anybody without any region being denied what we need is not an election but a referendum it's high time we put to rest this issue of who the next president of nigeria will be where he or she will come from what is your thoughts to this we would like you to let us know your own reaction we would like you to share your own point of view with us via the comment section. Do you think Nigeria needs referendum, you know, to election? Or do you think if election is being conducted, it could lead, you know, to the 
breakthrough of Nigeria from this perpetual bondage. We would like you to let us know your own thoughts today. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.